Hello, Junter viewers. This is Abendian, welcoming you to Year 16 of Out of the Park Baseball 19 is Nick Kuznetsov and the Cleveland Keys. Last season, we captured World Series numero cuatro for the Spanish speakers in my audience. That's the extent of the Spanish, I'm prepared to say. And uh, things are looking pretty good. But we don't have a lot of money to make improvements. So that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on in the offseason here. Okay. First of all, before we hire a new hitting coach, let's see if we have a really good hitting coach already on our team who could use a shot. Our hitting coach in A ball is excellent. How would you do with the Major League Club? You're a great coach, but you're uh, a coach for differences. Okay. I'm going to promote you to AAA this year. I'm going to promote you to AA. Okay. So we still have a vacancy in the big club. I will promote Salvo if I can't find a top-notch hitting coach. Hello, Justin Eccleston. He doesn't have a focus. But he's such a good hitting coach, though. Let's bring him in. And then I need a pitching coach, don't I? Uh, shit, yeah, I will happily offer you a nice sexy deal if you'll come and be my coach. Salary arbitration time. Okay. This is why we have no money all of a sudden. All right. Let's look. Is there anyone going to offer a comp offer to I don't think so. All right, let's start with CC. He wants a long-term deal. If you'll give me a second team option year, I will give you this contract. No, we'd actually rather have more money and a shorter contract. Yeah, that works for me, actually. Okay, Hernandez. Hernandez wants a giant deal. He can have it. I'm not going to question him for one-tenth of one second. He's too damn good. He's been too damn good for too damn long. I'm, I'm going to give him almost anything he asks for. All right, that's two off my plate. I will happily also give Rincon a longer-term deal if he wants it, which he doesn't. So let's move on down to uh, three, five, zero, one, two, three. To that. That's reasonable. Um, Lennox. Lennox has been really solid for a good long time for us. Won a couple of rings, got an all-star appearance, got a rookie of the year. The problem is he's a league average hitter with below average defense, and I don't think I can justify paying $5 million a year for that. Not when we have Bill Bradley. I'd like to trade at Lennox, but I've got a sneaking suspicion no one's going to offer me much for him. But we'll take a look. We'll only get stuff if we take on salary, I bet. I saw Pedro Martinez. I'm also getting reliever offers. Al Leiter. 
For a one-year deal, I could see bringing back... Oh, he's arbitration eligible, too. That's mostly what I'm getting offered, isn't it? Arb, arb, arb eligible, guys. Alex Segovia, he wants arbitration, and I'm sure he'd command a princely sum. I suppose I can't really blame blame the game for pulling this shit. It makes perfect sense. Ken Caminiti. I think he'd be an interesting little experiment for us. He's cheap. There's some room for him to grow. Oh. Oh, hi, Adrian Beltre. I can't afford you, though. I think we take a plunge with Ken Caminiti. Let's do it. And then I wonder if I can get you to throw in something else like a draft pick. What would I have to do to get you to throw in your first rounder? You'd actually take an awful lot from me. Seb Fletcher? I mean, admittedly, their first round pick kind of sucks. But he's never going to amount to much as a hitter. At least we don't think so. And I trust my scout. So yes, let's make this deal. Um, and then I will instantly put, uh, what's his butt on the, um, thingy. Here we go. So arguably we upgraded at first base while saving money or third base while saving money. Um, he had a really good offensive year. I would rather avoid arbitration with him. Burp. Everyone else here is fine. It's fine. I will offer you minor league extension to come back. Same for you. Same for you. And then let's finally take a look at the team and see who might benefit from being promoted. Okay, Jim King. Outstanding year in rookie ball. Promoted. Rome promoted. Baron promoted. We might lose him, but promoted. Okay. Jim Wilson. Jim Wilson is an actual pitcher with an actual future, which we haven't had for quite some time. Promoted. 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 Did you use Sam Rice as a dual, as a two-way player like I asked? You did, and he contributed next to nothing. Well, keep working at it, mate. Okay, statistically, any big years? Uh, Pedrosa. Castillo, he's already 24. He can be promoted. Maybe if I'd make this promotion, they'll be like, holy shit, he's being nice to us. We better promote him. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, Carmen Hill promoted. Kevin Stalker promoted. Roberto Duran promoted. Any really big years? Uh, Al Lopez, yes. Mickey Welch, yes. Jerry Sands, uh huh. Blazing Game, yep. Good. 
Any players here I will definitely promote? I don't think so yet. But we'll see. Kevin Stalker is an intriguing one. Especially since Peckinpah is pretty damn expensive. And flipping him wouldn't be the worst move we could make. I'm going to pull you off the DL. Let's go up to the Hall of Fame voting. A trade proposal, you say? I do like his glove quite a lot. And for that reason, I'm actually willing to make an offer, but I'm not giving you, I'm not going to give you what you want. You're wanting pretty solid prospects, and the answer to that question is absolutely not. I do have two first-round draft picks now. What about a second-rounder? Nah, not worth it. I admit Dave Lopez is kind of an interesting player, but I'm not going to give up uh, a team strength the bullpen for him. I'm definitely not giving you Yogi Berra. Because here's the thing, mate. Uh, Fred Carroll's getting old. He's already 32. And he's already getting to the point where he's not earning what I'm paying him. Except for his platism, which remains, rema which remains amazing. So yes, I am not giving him up. Uh, excellent. Fans basically go bananas. Johnny Hodap. No. Can Stalker play third? I don't think so. I think he's only short. I mean, Bill Bradley is the obvious solution to the problem. And he did crush AAA. I think he's probably earned the right to at least be considered for the job. Let's promote Bill Bradley. I'm going to go ahead and start the clock now. Um, and see how he likes it. Oh, we got our hitting coach. Nice. Chris Bryant is a pretty special player, but I'm not giving up Yogi Berra. Uh, hey, reliever of the year for Rincon. I didn't get a single silver slugger last year. How is that possible? Oh, we haven't gotten there yet. Okay, then that makes perfect sense. All right, Hernandez and Mays. That's it. That's fair. We got Manager of the Year. Sabathia won himself a Cy Young. Unanimously, I might add. How close are we to getting an MVP, too? I admit the only person that I would probably have voted for would be um, Luis Hernandez last year. Hernandez did get a few first place votes. But yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to argue with the guy who hit 400. Hall of Fame voting. Anybody cool in the Hall of Fame this year? Voting. Uh, Pete Alexander, I think, definitely deserves a place. Dave Diggle, not really. I will vote for Jose Guzman just because...
I'm not seeing a lot of exceptional players here. Um, I'm going to change my opinion on Greg Tholen. I'd just like to see a few more pitchers in the hall. Yeah, that's fine. I'm getting a bit more restrictive. But I think partly that's because the real no doubt about it sorts. Oh, um... How much would Valdez want to come back? I'm going to take the risk and give him a qualifying offer. What about Russell? I'm going to offer them both qualifying offers. Fully well realizing, by the way, that's going to totally nuke. Okay, good. They both filed for free agency. I am comfortable with that. Okay. I have $21 million. Where do I have holes on my roster? Really nowhere but possibly third base. Third base is the one place I could maybe upgrade at. And then just getting a full year of Pete Browning, honestly, would be a nice upgrade too. We did lose one of our starters, actually two of them. So, but I, and I don't think any of our minor league starters are ready to go yet. I think they're all a couple years away. Mickey Welch is the closest to being acceptable. We've got a lot of talent in the low minors, but it's going to take a while for that to percolate up. Most of what we've got in the upper minors is either um, middle infielders or relief pitchers or Bruce Campbell. Um, for calls kind of been lapped in our system. What can I get for him in a prospect or a regular? I'm just curious to see what we can get on offer. Really good expensive relief pitchers. Mm -hmm. Jeff Russell really is a starting pitcher. Oh, but it's the caribou. I can't trade with them. They're dicks. Let's just see what we've got in the bargain bin in starting pitching this year. Okay, let's immediately start by looking at starting pitchers. Obviously no Dutch Leonard. Gettysburg Eddie Plank, huh? He's coming off a real bad year. But I could get Alejandro Lopez for even cheaper. And there is one thing that concerns me, which is his movement. But he's a damn cheap pitcher, and I would be happy to add him to my team. How about a three-year deal? No, he wants a one-year deal. He wants a one-year make-good deal. I'm going to give him the opportunity. Okay, Ben Sheets is really good. And how long is he signed? Two years. You're getting Ben Attendee, who's good, Wilson, who's good, Hill, who's real good, and Reed, who's good. No. I like Ben Sheets, but I'm not trading all of that for two years of Ben Sheets. 
And we got Ismael Valdez. No, I am not letting you loot my farm system in exchange for bench sheets. Oh, hell no. I am not giving you that big a package for Travis Ryman. I like Chris Bryant as a hitter, <clears throat> but Bobby Bradley and um, What's-His-Face both profile to be as good, if not better. I'm kind of wasting my time, mate. Um, <clears throat> I will put Al Lopez on the 40, man. I don't really care about anyone else. Okay. I really don't need um, a position player. Is Dennis Bennett any good actually? Nope. I'll pass. It admittedly was the best one you were going to see. This was a good off-season signing. I know he's got flaws. But... Uh, we we didn't pay much for him, which leaves us flexibility to overpay people when draft time comes. And hey, I got two extra supplemental picks, so this could be a really good draft for us. So I have no qualms with what we've acquired this year. Uh, Greg Tholen and Jose Guzman both made the Hall of Fame. Nice. Haha, ha, Paul Laduca. Oof, Ichiro. He got 2,000 hits. But the real life Ichiro had a fair bit of power, too. This one didn't. And also, he didn't play as long. So, it's whatever. Any big changes this year in the preseason? How much did you pay to bring him in? Look, we got a lot out of Vic Words last year. I think he was an excellent trade for us. But I'm also glad I didn't give him this giant contract. Fans, I just signed... I just handed out billions of dollars. Not quite a billion dollars this offseason. I hope you'll forgive me for not wanting to spend two billion. And we're in spring training. Any interesting players I'd like to put on the roster? Yes. Yes. I'll even let Stalker play this year in, uh, in the minors. Yep. Come on down, Brian Shaw. Uh, Jim McCormick has really advanced. I'll give him a look in spring training. Same with Ben Attendee. Oh, Jim King, you can jump over single A and see how you handle it. Right. Um, cool. I'm not going to promote Lou. Ah, sure. I got the spots. Might as well use them, right? Um, let us simulate to next week. Hmm. 
Remember when Duke Asper was like the shit? Yeah, that didn't work out so well for us. He went from being the shit to merely shit. Nope, you suck, dude. Okay, now you might be talking my language. Especially when I never play Hank Johnson. Uh, I'm just going to hit complete trade because you have to give it to me. That was a good deal. Um, I know Hank Johnson has... is Yeah, he's actually not that good a pitcher anymore. See, so yeah, I bet you guys feel dumb. Uh, a contusion is whatever. Okay. One more week, gentlemen. Then we can start putting the roster together. Here we get Danny Martinez back. Hey. Okay. 47 lovely players. Let's get some people shifted around. Okay, instantly 60-day deal for Duke Gasper. Anyone else injured? How long's Peck and Paw out? Eh, he's only out day to day. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember getting you in the draft last year. That was pretty sexy, wasn't it? Did you get any rookie of the year votes? Third place. Okay. That is acceptable to me. All right. Oof, Trevor Hoffman, mate. Your stuff has vanished. This last year, your deal. Will you take a demotion? No. Well, I guess that's fair. Nope. Give me another year in double A McCormick. Nope. 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 Mm, I'm just going to honestly just kick you off the roster. Someone else might grab Boren Spawn, and they're welcome to him. How many pitchers do I have now? I have 16. I still got to find three pitchers to send elsewhere. Uh, I would like Thompson to play in... Triple A this year. Same with Sally. And yeah, I guess we'll send down Singleton. Okay, pitchers now at 13. Position players. Ugh, Lopez. I'm going to go ahead and designate Hundley and Wakefield. I've got a feeling one or both of them is going to get grabbed. And if that happens, it happens. Um, I'll just learn to live with it, I guess. For call, no. Stalker, no. Benatendi... He's 21. Let's give him another year. And no, he can be pro to AAA. That's fine. If the game really thinks he can handle it, I'll let him try it. Uh, Bruce Campbell, not yet. Frank Olin, God no. Uh, can Shevler play center? He cannot. Shevler to the minors. I gotta get rid of one more player. Schulte, my dude. I'm gonna be opting out of your deal next year. I'm gonna let Danny Martinez play in uh, AAA because I, I would like him to improve. 
It doesn't leave us a lot of backup in the middle infield positions, but I feel confident we'll see something interesting. And there goes Warren Spawn. And Warren Spawn is gone. Do I have any of the top 100 prospects? I do not. What is my overall um, minor league system ranking look like? 29, 25, ugh. I do think we'll get better, though. I genuinely do think we'll get better. I think it's just going to take us some time. Team home screen. What do we got here? Gumbert, Poog, then Browning, Hernandez, Mays, then Carroll, Peckinpah, Grisadier. It looks like we're going to start Bill Bradley at the beginning of the season. That's fine. Sabathia, Nola, Hamill, Lopez, and Millwood. Yeah, Trevor Hoffman is basically gets the garbage innings now. Tis life, my friends. Tis life. Let us proceed. Oh! He made the roster? He sure did. Sure. Welcome to the 40, man. Anyone else? Nope. Okay. Anything interesting happen here? Uh, some improvement in the pitchers. Catchers all got worse. Uh, Ken Caminiti improved a fair bit. As did Bill Bradley. Uh, Poog got better. And Junior Thompson has improved significantly. Holy shit. Why did he get so much better? Oh, because you're rating him as a relief pitcher. I see. I'd very much like you to be a starter, though, so I'm going to let you pitch a bit in AAA. But I've got a feeling your time is coming very shortly. Fred Carroll's out for three to four weeks. Well, Yogi, you get a chance to start. And then Al Lopez will be the backup catcher. Um, oh, yeah, all you jerks can come back. And let's clear out waivers. I figured out why I was making so many misclicks in, uh, in OTP over the last couple episodes. I actually needed a new mouse. How long are you suspended, you jerk? Three days? Uh, fine. Just be that way. Okay, we can get Fred Carroll back. So we shall. Okay, two to three weeks for Hamill. That's a couple of missed starts. That's fair. Uh, Junior Thompson, come on up. You're the next contestant on The Pitcher is Right. Okay. Trevor Hoffman wants to come back. You're not coming back, dude. You're just not. Okay, Sim Sally, Easterling, San Bernardino's what, single A? Yeah, you can be promoted, sure.
As usual, I'm not going to make any changes in these first couple of months unless there's an obvious reason to do so. Okay, that's a pretty compelling reason to do so. Uh, you are going to be replaced with... Oh, McCormick picked a bad day to get hurt. I guess Sally gets the rotation spot. Just until uh, Jason Hamill comes back. So, Sally, you can come back. Triple A, you get promoted to go back. And we lost Kevin Millwood for the whole season. So that happened, and that means... Do I want to rush Jim McCormick? I do not. I would very much like to see his control. His control's never getting better, is it? Well, poop. We're just going to have to hope his stuff is so good we don't notice his lack of control. Player development. Yep, Hoffman's losing velocity. Very got better. Esper got like a tiny hair better. Mm, not much interesting happening here. Schulte keeps declining. Well, he won't be getting his uh, team option. That is for sure. Efrain Ruiz, you've earned a promotion. Well done. Let's go up to the draft. Oh, I did not know. Yeah, you're a flat-out free agent, aren't you? I'm not giving you an opt-out. I want you to play for me forever. No opt-out. Done. What year are you? You're AAA. Okay. This is a really unimpressive top class. So this is actually not a bad year to have a deep draft like we had this year. We have, what, two picks in the first round and then two supplemental picks. Players, okay. Jack Powell would actually be a nice little starter to have right now. As would Billy Rines. Okay. The best player is clearly Frank Thomas. And I got $23 million. Who's my current DH? Gumbert. Yeah, I, I I would delightedly use this on Frank Thomas. And I will give him basically whatever he wants or take a first round pick next year. Um, oh, I wanted Lefty if he was still around. Damn it. No... Oh, hell no. No. Well, poop. I 
I mean, a lot of the players left in the draft now just aren't that exciting. I'd rather take younger players so you could develop into something truly special. <clears throat> Carl Erskine. I know his stamina is not great, but I do think he's worth the risk. Ooh, David Justice. Um... No. Also no. Now Mike Anderson is a nice little pickup and he's super young. I will happily grab him and see how he develops. Mm -hmm. Is this piano legs? No, Jim Davenport's a different guy. Decent all-around hitter. Again, lots of decent all-around hitters. Who would you recommend I take? You want me to take Davy Jones? I don't want a player like that. If he played like shortstop, I'd try... Ooh. OSA thinks he'll become a contact hitter. You know what? It's worth the shot. Well, honestly, we're already at the point in the draft where most of the best players are gone already. Well, I will take Paul Strand. That is a reasonable supposition. Yeah, Buck Rogers is a really good defensive catcher. I'll take that in the third round. Ben Dyer might someday develop a decent bat. I'm willing to take a bit of a risk on him. Uh, Matt Strom, sure. Ruben Mateo is a good center fielder with a decent amount of power. That's not nothing. I'm willing to risk a sixth round pick to find out. Um, let's look at batting potential. Let's look at contact hitters. Let's grab Phenomenal Smith. His name is so good. Um, pitching potential. Who's got real good stuff? Victor Zambrano, actually. Let's take him, too. And I think that's it. I think that's... I have to admit, I'd hoped for a bit more than we got out of this draft. But everything depends on this pick. Because Frank Thomas is a frickin' stud. Um... I did not know Frank Thomas was from Ohio. I always thought he was from, like, Texas. Oh, God, he wants more than $18 million a sign. He's a unique talent, though. I will hand him $20 million. And he will be worth every penny if he signs. And if he doesn't sign, I get a first-round pick next year.
I'll be able to sign everyone else for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, I've got to admit, Andy Rincon is one of the best closers in the history of our league. Not saving as many games this year. I don't know if he's not getting opportunities or if we're not using him as the closer for some weird reason. No, he's a closer. He just must not be getting opportunities. We could just be blowing everybody out. That's entirely a possibility. Oh, this is sexy. Um... Ooh, Ken Caminiti has performed quite admirably as our third baseman. Oh, how is um guy we traded for you doing? Ed, I'd like to put him on the short list. Just so we can keep an eye on him. He's not even starting. Damn. Oof. I'd say I feel bad for him, but I really don't. Herniated disc for Bill Wise. Unfortunate. But we do have rather a few relievers waiting for a good home in the minors. Like Elmer Singleton. Frank Thomas said no. Because they wouldn't have the exclamation point if he didn't say no. Yeah. It sucks. And if we'd gotten Frank Thomas, this would have been a great draft. As it is merely a decent draft. With a lot of players who will need a lot of polish. Um, I'm going to tell you... What the hell happened? Why all of a sudden did potential turn back into uh, overall turn back into potential? Oh God, look at this year. What the hell? Okay, this is not okay. Please don't do this. Admittedly, he'd still have a pretty great year um, for almost anyone else. We're still doing pretty well. Trevor Hoffman wants to come back. I'm sure you do, mate. I don't want you back. Oh, you wanted me to re-sign Vic Words. Yeah, well, screw you. Um, personnel. Let's keep a great team together. Oh, you don't want... You're tired of playing in the majors. That's fair. And then who else... Uh, definitely re-sign you. And I think everyone else will just uh, snap up some changes there. Ouch. But hey, we got a bunch of money now to spend on international free agents, so maybe it'll all end up working out. Oh no, I'm not going to bother. None of these players are all that good. I understand that there's little risk involved because it's just money that I can't spend anyway, but...
I am kind of irritated we couldn't keep Frank Thomas, but... George Van Haltren is a pretty good starter. Juan Uribe. I'm not giving you Jim McCormick. Oh, no. Untouchable. Yeah, you want someone too damn good for me to consider making that trade. So, I'm going to pass. Uh, excellent. Elmer, would you like to go back to AAA? I don't care if you would or not. You're going back to AAA. I shouldn't have phrased that as a question if I wasn't going to give him a choice. That was probably not fair of me. Ooh, six hits for Grisadier and Gumbert. Okay, no names I remember here, at least not from my team. CC, Jack Ferry, Fred Carroll. He's having a nice little year. Uh, Pete Browning. Willie Mays, Odd Gumbert, and Yisel Poo. Mm. No, Luis Hernandez. Maybe this is just that one year where he has a, a bit of a struggle. Because I don't want to overpay for a player that's actually not that good. That Ted Williams feller. It's pretty good. 300 homers for Willie Mays. What? Willie Mays is 26, and he already has 300 bloody homers. Oh, he's going to be an all-time great in our league, just like the real Willie Mays. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set people to untouchable for now. Just because I, I don't want to trade prospects unless I'm getting a piece I desperately need. Nope. That is a pointless trade. That's an even more pointless trade. I do quite like Bruce Campbell, but I don't know that I've got a role for him on this team. There are at least four or five outfielders ahead of him in the pecking order. So maybe this is a good time to trade him. What can you offer me for Bruce Campbell? I'm getting offers. That's doubtless. I get Eddie Murray back now. No, I can't. Okay. I'm not taking Rick Rushell back at that deal. Um... I was like Scott Rowland in real life, but, you know. So far, I'm genuinely not seeing much that's interesting. Luke Walker is so far the only exception. Here's what I want. I would like you to add a draft pick. Just for funsies. Nope, I can't get a draft pick. First rounder anyway. 
Yeah, I'd have to give you a pretty decent pick. Can I just get you throwing another prospect? A uh, Bill Haw, uh, ooh, Tom Glavin. Won't even bother discussing it. Yeah, they are really power prizing their players. <clears throat> Can I get a fourth rounder? No. He is really hardcore about not wanting to give anything else up. And I've got so many relievers already. I'd rather just keep Bruce Campbell and trade him when he's when his value is higher. His problem, though, is he's basically a worse version of Ben Attendi. So, yeah. Player development. Neither of my third basemen are really covering themselves in glory, are they? Jim King has 30 homers already. I think that's a promotion to triple A. Looks like we're going to cruise to another division title. I'm always pleased to hear that. 500 homers for Pete Browning. Holy shit. That is insane. Yeah, I genuinely can't think of who I would compare Pete Browning to. Maybe like our Willie Mays. Except Willie Mays is our Willie Mays. So, um, oh right, we're not on the forty-man rosters yet, are we? Slim has been okay. Um, I'm going to have you rehab a bit. And then once the 40, the additional rosters kick in, we'll bring him home. Welcome back, Nola. What does our team look like this year? We're amazing up and down the lineup. Uh, that's good. Yeah, Hernandez is back to his old self. It looks like maybe just a bit of a hiccup early on in the season. Pitching looks good. Maybe not great, but good. Um, yeah. Bullpen could be a little bit better armed, but we've already locked up our division. We lose Peck and Paul for three weeks. I'm not going to put him on the DL. I'm not going to put Nola on the DL. He just won't pitch. Esper, huh? Yeah, if someone claims Duke Esper, I will pull him back. But I doubt anyone will. Poor Trevor Hoffman. He keeps you bugging me to... Can I please come back, please? No, Trevor. No. Tire. Um, 
What was I doing? There was something important I was doing that I can't recall now. About Esper. Yes. Please go to Triple A. Thank you, sir. And Nola suspended. Why not? Hey, Tony LaRusso retired, finally. I bet he'll be one hell of a coach someday. Yeah, he never made the majors. How did I even acquire him? Oh, it's right, it wipes all the data, doesn't it, to keep the data files from being too unrealistic. That's fair. People looking pretty solid. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of red minuses or green pluses in any one particular spot. Let's sim up to the start of the playoffs. 107 and 55. That is, my friends, some good stuff. I believe you all agree that is the case. Uh, please don't do that. Just finish today. There we go. I wish it would just give you a link to the playoff roster and that page. It's not that it's not hard to find or anything, but it is a little bit irritating. Why aren't we taking Nola? Oh, because he's suspended. We'll see what happens uh, once we get to the actual start. Really? He count, still counts as suspended. What the shit? All right. Before we continue, let's take a look at how we did as a team this year. Pete... Fucking Browning. Led the league in war. Again. At the age of 35. This is some absolute craziness. Right? So crazy. Uh, look at Poog's amazing second season. Holy shit. How is he this good? Like His offense is really good. 30 homers, 35 doubles, 200 hits. Really good defense in right field. Willie Mays had a pedestrian 5 war this season. Still led the league in home runs. Just didn't hit quite as well as he did the previous year. Uh, Luis Hernandez, a slight dip uh, in his production, but still incredibly useful. Uh, Bill here, another solid year. Uh, pretty pleased with him. An excellent year in left field. He might get a gold glove. Fred Carroll continues to just keep providing quality, which I very much appreciate. He's not a megastar anymore, but he's still very solid. Uh, Gumbert... Maybe not quite so impressive this year. I think we can and will do better than him next year. Uh, a nice rookie show, a nice uh, showing for Ken Caminiti. His first full season as the third baseman. Peck and Paul was good. Yeah, Bradley was a bit disappointing. I think he could maybe use another year in AAA to get some seasoning. Because he did struggle in AAA his first year, and then he crushed the ball the next year. I think he just needs some time to get there. How did our pitching staff do this year? Uh, CC was great. Uh, Junior Thompson and his first full season in the majors. A bit of okay. Um, Lopez, not so great. Trevor Hoffman, look. 
He's a bit shit right now. He's a bit shit. Okay, CC versus Podres. CC wins. Oh, hey, I didn't look at um, relievers. Was Rincon still crazy good? He sure was. I know we only got 22 saves, but this is the key number right here. He's earning two war in 50 innings. That is absolutely mind-blowing. As a relief pitcher, he almost has 16 war. That's crazy. Um, Jason Hamill. So far, good solid work from everyone. <gasps> Terry Francona. How's his career turned out? Oh, Tito Francona. Ah, fuck that guy. It's actually Terry Francona's dad. He actually played for the Indians, too, if I remember right. Junior Thompson. Got a little bit shook up. Baby steps. You're going to need some time to, to grow. But Slim locked it down. Nice. How did Slim do? Very nice work. And a well-earned trip to the League Championship Series. Who are we facing? The Diamondbacks. Didn't we face them last year too? Maybe. We we're only third in pitching this year. Hmm. But see, oh, it didn't. Was this wasn't CC? This was the bullpen. Andy Rincon pitched two flawless innings of baseball. That's good stuff. Uh, another game where we got into the bullpens. Not because the starters are pitching poorly by any stretch. But I'm a bit concerned if we rely too heavily on our bullpens, what might happen. A third consecutive game that goes deep into the bullpen. Because we needed to score five runs in the last two innings to break free. As Freddie Mercury might say. I mean, we got a sweep, but of all the players to perform well, again it was Sim Slim Sally. Who just came forth and was just like... Bam! Five hit shutout. Where the hell was this guy during the regular season? Okay, he was actually pretty good during the regular season, too. Slim may have earned himself a full year in the majors next year. Another World Series for us. And we face the Milwaukee Gray Sox. Where the, who the hell are you? Are you a new team? Let's look under teams. No, you've been around since the beginning. and You've made the playoffs several times. This is just your first time in the World Series. Okay, CC. Again, it gets into the bullpen. I've got to admit, either we're just not timing things right or what. Do you have Barry Bonds or Bobby Bonds? Bobby Bond. Still pretty scary, though. Weren't you, like, the first overall pick one year? 19th overall in 2033. Okay. Uh, Dutch Leonard, he was a big acquisition for them in the offseason. Looks like he's paying off at least a little bit. Back into the bullpen as we go. Every game has been super tight. Up, Slim got shook up. CC takes the hill and is like, let's normalize things a bit. Not his best work, but still very good work. And then we get game six. Hamill versus Leonard. And pow. Jason Hamill 
steps up, pitches a brilliant game. Andy Rincon, two wins for the two innings for the save. And we, my friends, just won back to back world titles. This was an interesting postseason because really the starters were hardly ever decisive. Damn. Yep, Tom McGreevy is uh, is not coming back, although I'd like him to. I think he wants his chance in the majors again. We've never actually gotten to, pit, uh, to manage in the majors. I kind of feel bad for that now. He's earned $10 million, so, you know. It's hard to feel too bad for him. Oh, here's my history. I've earned $21 million as a manager. Or, in other words, Luis Hernandez earn, will earn more money in two years than I've earned my entire career. Say lovey. Five World Series. Ooh, we got Dynasty Achieved. Nice. Okay, Kevin Millwood. I'm going to let you walk. Frank Schulte. Mate, I like you. You're done. Browning's coming back. I'm totally fine with that. the greatest team they want Hamill on an extension is Hamill's contract coming up already is it really Why would I sign him to an extension when his contract isn't up yet? I mean, I'll do it if that's what you want, but it's a bit silly if you ask me. Whatever. Um, right. Yeah. This was a good season. Um, we won the World Series. How could it not be a good season? But what made it a good season to me is that even though in some senses we're actually worse off this year than we have been in years past, we still put together a good quality season. Everyone performed up to expectations um, or close to it. I'm pretty happy with how things went. Um, next time, though, uh, we're going to have a bit of a think about what we want to see in the team going forward. We are starting to have people's contracts run out. Um, Browning will be gone year after next, maybe. So we'll see what happens. I do want to thank everyone for watching thus far. Please subscribe for more Out of the Park Baseball action. Uh, likes are always appreciated and a good way to tell me that people enjoy what they're seeing. And feel free to comment down below if you think I've done something fairly stupid. Chances are pretty good that I have somewhere at some time. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good night.